Today, we stand on the verge of a revolution unlike anything in human history. The amount of change we're going to see over the next five years, 10 years, will dwarf everything that's happened over the last 30. Technology is advancing at an exponential rate, and a new force is shaping our world. AI is center stage. AI machines. Artificial intelligence. AI is no longer science fiction. It's here, and it's infiltrating every aspect of our lives. From creative industries... Adobe is using the power of generative AI to deliver the most advanced and precise editing tools ever in Premiere Pro. To the core of our operating systems. Introducing Microsoft 365 Copilot. It's personal intelligence right where you need it. As we hurtle towards this AI-driven future, the implications are staggering. I, I want to be clear. I think like these systems will make a lot of jobs just go away. There will come a point where no job is needed. The AI will be able to do everything. In this era of unprecedented change, we must confront the question. Will AI empower us beyond our wildest dreams? Or will it render us obsolete? Because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. On Monday morning, you clock into work. You've been there for years, and you are a valued and trusted employee. But as you're about to start your work, your boss announces a new member of the team. This new member roughly does the same work that you do, and the quality is on par with yours. But this new coworker is able to produce 10 times the amount of work that you do, and it never asks for a break, and it never asks for a paycheck. Imagine the pit in your stomach as you realize that this tireless, efficient colleague makes your role obsolete. The years of experience and relationships that you've built suddenly seem to matter less and less in the face of this relentless digital worker. This exact reality is already starting to happen. With each iteration, these tools become more sophisticated, more efficient, and more integrated into our lives. It is estimated that the AI industry will grow by almost 40% every year for the next six years. AI is already making its presence felt. A quarter of companies are turning to AI to fill labor gaps. AI and automation are expected to affect 15% of the global workforce. That is hundreds of millions of people. Behind each of these numbers is a person, a parent unable to provide for their child, a recent graduate seeing their dreams evaporate, and a skilled worker suddenly feeling inadequate in the face of changing tides. But what about creative industries? Many would think that human imagination is difficult, if not impossible, to replicate. But in a recent limited study, consumers actually prefer AI-written sales copy over human-written ones for a product description, even when they know that it was AI-generated. And for the artists, the stakes are personal. Their very creations, born from countless hours of passion and skill, are being fed into these systems to train them, often without the artist's explicit knowledge or consent, fueling the very systems designed to potentially replace them. And with the onset of humanoid robots like Figure One, we could see automation in just about any industry. We're not talking about jobs being disrupted, but entire careers that may disappear within the next five to 10 years. It's no wonder that nearly nine out of 10 people are unsure about how generative AI will impact their lives. But doesn't this uncertainty sound familiar? In a 1995 article from Clifford Stoll, he states that the truth is no online database will replace your daily newspaper. 
no CD-ROM can take place of a competent teacher, and no computer network will change the way government works. When the internet was in its infancy, skepticism ran rampant. Yet today, can you imagine life without it? Online news did replace the newspapers, digital tools revolutionized education, and the internet fundamentally changed how governments operate and engage with citizens. You are watching this video thanks to this once feared technology. And let's not forget about the jobs it created. While AI and automation will and already are displacing jobs, it will create new ones. Some estimate that nearly 100 million jobs will be created thanks to AI. Jobs like data scientists, machine learning engineers, and AI ethicists. Beyond that are jobs we can't even conceive of yet, waiting to be birthed into a world of human ingenuity and artificial intelligence. Now, don't get me wrong, the road ahead will be challenging and we will see many careers be swept away by the currents of progress. Our society's hunger for speed, efficiency, and low costs will drive these systems to evolve at a breakneck speed. But the future is never set in stone. There are possibilities lurking just beyond our imagination. While it's impossible to say exactly what the future will look like, one thing is certain. Our jobs aren't the only thing we need to worry about. As we stand on the edge of this revolution, we face a familiar dilemma, the technological double-edged sword. We've already mentioned the impact this could have on the workforce. But beyond that, if these tools are not created carefully, they could be discriminatory. With hiring algorithms showing favoritism for certain demographics and facial recognition systems misidentifying those with darker skin. These algorithms can perpetuate and amplify social biases, favoring certain demographics over others and leading to unfair outcomes. And what about our privacy? Instagram can now take any photo you post on there to train their AI. Microsoft is rolling out their recall feature in Windows that uses AI to take screenshots every few seconds, and it doesn't blur things like passwords if they are visible. And Google has been saving your voice recordings that you make to their assistants. Hey Google, how tall is the Empire State Building? This is a creeping unease in realizing that your most private moments, your casual conversations, even your passing thoughts that you type into your search bar are being collected, analyzed, and can be used to train these AI models. But perhaps most alarmingly is AI's ability to generate realistic fake content and confidently tell its users false information known as hallucinations. In the wrong hands, these tools can be used to spread vast amounts of misinformation at alarming speeds. Even the companies who make these tools are faking their capabilities. Large language models like ChatGPT and Claude are great at specific tasks like fixing grammar, summarization, and even conversation. But they don't understand these things. They're really more of just advanced autocomplete systems. It is in these companies' best interest to say that they have the best systems, that their tools will change the way we do everything, that these super advanced systems that do understand everything, like AGI, are just around the corner, because that hype is what brings in the money. Just like the hype of the gold rush, where the ones who profited the most were the ones selling the shovels. Today, we are seeing companies like NVIDIA, the maker of powerful AI hardware, soaring in value. The hype around AI is creating a lucrative market. So with false hype, misinformation, privacy concerns, and an increasing class gap, the future can seem very glim. However, for every shadow that AI casts, there is a light source that shines possibilities. Rather than fully replacing humans, AI has the potential to amplify our abilities. Take, for example, the protein folding problem. Proteins are complex molecules that play a crucial role in our bodies, such as building tissue, supporting immune functions, and catalyzing chemical reactions. The shape of these proteins directly affects their function. Predicting the exact way different proteins fold has been an incredibly difficult task that scientists have struggled with for decades. And if we learn how these proteins are shaped, 
we could better understand diseases like cancer, create better drugs, and even reveal new aspects of cellular biology. But as of 2020, we had only mapped about 170,000 protein structures, which sounds like a lot, but there are billions of known proteins. The methods we were using worked, but they weren't very fast. So researchers turned to machine learning. Out of this, AlphaFold was created from Google DeepMind, and it was able to accurately predict the structure of not just thousands of proteins, but millions. If we didn't have AlphaFold, it would have taken nearly 300 years to map the same amount of proteins as AlphaFold did in just a few years. These are the areas that AI can show its true potential. If systems like this could help us learn and discover at a rate faster than we could ever do on our own, what other areas could it help us out with? On a global scale, AI could be the key to solving some of our most pressing challenges. Advanced climate models powered by machine learning could improve our abilities to predict and mitigate natural disasters. In the race against climate change, AI is our secret weapon, optimizing and forecasting renewable energy systems faster than we've ever dreamed possible. Imagine the hope and relief of a disaster victim as AI-powered systems are able to deliver aid at an unprecedented speed, or the joy of a farmer seeing their crops thrive thanks to AI-optimized techniques, knowing that they can better provide for their family and their community. The key lies not in fearing AI, but in harnessing it responsibly. These rapid changes will demand new and updated laws, robust support systems, and thoughtful regulations. We must be vigilant in addressing the risks while embracing the possibilities. In this new landscape, our greatest asset isn't processing power, but our unique human ability to learn, unlearn, and relearn. Together, we can create a future of positive change. As the sands of time continue to shift beneath our feet, it's natural to feel a sense of unease. We've grown accustomed to the familiar rhythms of our lives, and the thoughts of a technology tsunami washing away our jobs and our identities can be deeply unsettling. But the human spirit is not so easily extinguished. The greatest challenge is not the machines or the economy. It is the fear and doubt that resides within us. We are not defined by our jobs or our possessions, but by the very essence of our humanity. And it is in this connection to our deeper selves that we will find the fortitude to face the future. For we are the products of change, survivors of plagues and disasters and wars. We are the embodiment of resilience and adaptation. While in the future, these systems may be able to create movies, music, and videos just like this one, there will still always be people who will make their own work because they like doing it. The chess players still play chess, even when the computers can outmaneuver them. The photographers still shoot, even when smartphones can capture the same sort of thing. It is in these acts of self-expression that we find meaning, that we connect with the world around us and the world within. I make these videos and I do photography, not for the fortune, because I don't make a lot of money doing it, but for the sheer joy of creation. These systems and machines may take away our jobs, but they cannot take away our humanity. They cannot take away our capacity to love, to care, and to create and connect with others. These are the things that make us who we are, and no machine can replace that. So do not be afraid of technology. Instead, be afraid of what you will do if you're not living your life to the fullest, if you're not pursuing your dreams, because that is what will bring you true fulfillment. Thank you for watching.